so here we are again and now in my own backyard I'm still really working very hard but we I'm making progress on the house um, but not ready yet but nature surprised me um, a tree in our garden well it fell over basically it was it looked fine on the outside but was rotten on the inside so I had a lot of work to get it out of the way that is where the rest of the tree was took it all away but one thing leads to another as a kid I always you know search the ground for pottery and stuff like that and I saw a piece of uh, pottery sticking out of this tree I thought maybe I should investigate a little bit and I ended up with quite a bit and I'm f by far not done yet and I also brought the metal detector to see if we well if there's anything very interesting or a little bit interesting we'll see but I'll show you the charts that I found so far I've got a piece of a plate I think this is quite cool because I've got like I don't know three pieces I think something like that well there should be another one anyway of clay pipe and loads of plates this is probably a maker's mark something like that probably another piece of the plate this is probably also for the plate so quite some interesting bits and pieces and well we're gonna run the detector to see if there are any metals in it but if not well we'll at least dig some beautiful shards without further ado let the adventure begin come on a lot of iron in this ground I'll try on on the zero mode but I'm not really sure Definitely some iron there. Looks like something is there, but we'll see. I found some signals with the pin pointer. There's one behind a piece of stone, something like that. In here, probably something made out of iron, but we'll see. And here is another signal. That was definitely an iron signal. Oh, here. There we go. At least another piece of clay pipe. It looks like it's the piece that was attached to the pipe, I think. Or I really hope the guy that lost it, lost it, well, right here. Or threw it away right here, so I have all the pieces. But we'll find out. Now, let's poke around a little bit. Somewhere there. Let's see. I don't expect really something fancy or something like that. I mean it's it's basically garbage that people throw away but sometimes there is something cool just in between all the junk. Oh I think it's iron isn't it? Yeah oh, I think so. No it's another piece of pottery. There's quite a bit in here so you know you never know. Just put it aside. Mm. Where did that signal go? Is it? No, it's not in there. Another piece of clay pipe. Hey, <laughs> one more piece. The next one is in here somewhere. Some pieces of pottery again. Put that aside again. And it's gone. How is that possible? Alright, now I know what fooled me. 
There's some iron in it. Can't really see where. But there's definitely something in it. Look at that. Look. Maybe a silver coin is hidden in it. <laughs> no. Oh well. It was definitely a signal anyway. Should be some interesting pieces here. Here's a piece of glass I think and here's another piece of pot goodness me here look at that no yeah <laughs> no yeah my best guess is that this is a piece of bone like a big rib something like that no yeah, definitely you know what I think I'll just poke around here a little bit see what short um, to see what shards I can collect because I don't really think the metal detecting is going to be anything well it's not going to be very successful here anyway I'll just take the dirt off and once it's on the ground I'll probably run the metal detector over it let's find ourselves some shards then I do not normally do stuff like this but I'm really enjoying it actually found another pretty cool thing actually I don't know that's a very nervous bird. Well, I can ask my mom, see. Recognizes. Stuff like that. Anyway, I found something really cool. Look at that. It's a jawbone. Some completely black teeth. I don't know. Could be a dog, something else, I don't know. Or, yeah, well, I don't know, basically. Still quite sharp, the teeth. Well, let's find some more. I thought before I'll poke all this stuff down, I might as well just look there to begin with. And that's where it was, so we'll poke around there a little bit more. And this is kind of the way I'm doing that. I'm just Poking and listening. Here I hear another something and then well find a little shard. Just put it there. You can hear that there are many, many more. Another piece. It's just cool one that I don't think there will be anything really special. But you never know piece of a brick. Mm. Something else. That is... Oh, I don't know. Definitely got a shape to it. That makes it look like it's... Hand oh, no, it's another piece of bone, I think. Yeah. Careful. It's just white. Oh no, there's a blue. Some blue on it. This is just <laughs> really nice actually. Oh here. Another piece. Another piece of clay pipe. Another interesting little bit of soil here. Oh, wow. What is that going to be? Ooh, need to be careful. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another piece of plate. Well, I'll just dig on in this little honey hole and show you what I end up with. We're doing really, really good. Look at that. And it's all coming from down there. But the thing that I'm most excited but the thing that I'm most excited about is I just pulled out two clay pipe at once and this actually really has a PVD and a crown and a big N on it I think this one is yeah nothing no design on it well there's a stamp here 
looks like a little man sitting down and this is really fairly old I would say as well so I'm really obviously I need to be careful because there is some glass in it as well what I do is I just poke around with my my shovel and then really oh, then you hear something like here and then I'll gently just reach down and in this case it's just a piece of brick but that's the way I go and I have really a thick layer of uh, stuff that you get when you <laughs> work always with your hands but obviously it's definitely wise to be careful but well I'll dig on a little bit here and maybe there are some more clay pipes there's actually quite a big piece of pottery Don't know. let's see okay. pry it out there we go Well, it's a big piece of pottery, but then again, it's also a very boring piece of pottery. <laughs> well, there is some more. Yeah. I try to keep the camera as still as I can. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, this is the hole so far been poking around everywhere I'm completely covered in dirt basically <laughs> but <clears throat> and I have to work tomorrow so let's continue another time but so far it's pretty amazing I would say I'll sort them out later but loads of bones and pottery and you know with metal detecting you kind of hope for a coin basically and I've noticed that now I'm hoping for a uh, a clay pipe or a piece of clay pipe. That gives kind of the same feeling. And I actually got on to five. Or, no, four of course, because I had already one. But that is pretty amazing. Now obviously these need to be cleaned up as well. Hopefully I'll find one more. Or two or three of course. Let's wait a day and dig a bit more. Since I'm still working on the house, making a bathroom and all that stuff, I don't have a lot of time to go metal detecting, but stuff like this, you know, you can always find an hour or two to just, you know, dig a little bit under the tree. So I'm going to cut this video up because I think I have like an hour video material. Obviously it needs to be edited, but um, probably two or three episodes of the clay pipe hoard. This is the end of part one. And obviously I hope you will tune in again for part 2 and 3.